Welcome back everybody with the 5 p.m. update on Tropical Storm Ernesto. And if we look at the latest information at 5 o'clock, wind speed still 60 miles per hour, so still a decent tropical storm. Pressure's down a little bit, 1,001 millibars uh, moving off to the west-northwest, 18 miles per hour. Millibars uh, moving off to the west-northwest, 18 miles per hour. Um, but more importantly than this is going to be the hazards that are going to unfold over the next couple hours and that have been unfolding over the uh, Leeward Islands here um, in the form of wind. These wind squalls are coming through producing very heavy winds and rain. So conditions are improving in Guadalupe as, as Ernesto moves away and will soon start improving in Antigua and Barbuda. But for those of you in the British and U.S. Virgin Islands conditions are going to go downhill rapidly over the next several hours. Um, and certainly by sunset, thinks, uh, conditions are going to be pretty rough in the Virgin Islands. And then for Puerto Rico, now at first glance of this cone, it looks like, it looks like, and you're going to want to think, well, it's going to pass off to the north. And, and I've dodged a bullet in Puerto Rico, but that's not the case because you're still going to have tropical storm force winds in these outer rain bands wrapping around. And speaking of these outer rain bands, the, the potential for significant heavy rain falling even well outside the cone exists, and that's why we have a flood watch in effect for Puerto Rico. Now, what does a flood watch mean? That doesn't mean that the flooding has yet started, but conditions are conducive for flooding to happen in Puerto Rico tonight. So, bottom line, if you're listening to us uh, from Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico um, not a good night to be driving. So let's, let's go home and stay put the rest of the night and avoid these treacherous uh, driving conditions. One more water-based hazard to talk about Rip currents. Rip currents are going to be one of the big stories of this storm, not only for the main area being impacted here in Puerto Rico, where you can see rip current uh, risk is high, but also, also even along the east coast of the United States. Now, why is that going to be the case? Because as Ernesto pulls out into the open waters of the western Atlantic, it will strengthen significantly, potentially becoming a powerful hurricane. And what you see here behind me is the wave field, the waves, the ocean waves that will be generated by those strong winds. These brighter colors here indicate ocean waves of over 40 feet in height. All of this energy will start to propagate towards the east coast of the United States later in the work week and especially on the weekend, which is going to greatly enhance the risk of rip currents for the weekend. So if you're headed to the beach this weekend along the east coast of the United States, please make sure to check the beach conditions. If you don't know, ask a lifeguard. Always swim near a lifeguard if possible. That's it for us tonight. We'll be back tomorrow with more updates. And as always, you can get the latest information from hurricanes.gov.